Hi, I'm Jeff Schultz, and I did a rod. It's gearing up. It's right around the corner. And I have a number of favorite places on the Iditarod. Finger Lake, Rainy Pass, and Roane. It's where the trail goes across the Alaska Range. I love it. It's just magnificent. Six, seven, eight thousand foot peaks and this trail snaking its way along. Small dog team, big landscape. And one of my favorite spots of all those three is Rainy Pass area itself. This photo here was taken just not even a mile from the checkpoint on Puntilla Lake. Look at the big, huge mountains. The lodge is run by Steve and Denise Perrins, super great people, along with their five sons and daughters-in-law. And there's always something going on at Rainy Pass because it's only a couple days into the race, so the teams stack up there. Like this photograph here, you can see all these teams resting on the lake and another one coming in. The checkpoint Rainy Pass is at the lodge on Pantilla Lake, but Rainy Pass itself is about 13 miles further down the trail. But I love this shot here where a team is coming down the trail and all these dog teams are parked there. It's just so graphic looking. And I've got a lot of great memories of Rainy Pass area. And you know what's neat about Rainy Pass, the checkpoint, is that there's so much spectacular stuff all around it. Like this photograph here of Dee Dee John Rowe. This is probably taken three, four, five miles from the checkpoint itself on a snow machine. Bucky Winkley, one of the guides up there, took me for a ride on the snow machine. And this was just one of those fantastic situations. I see the dog team there, I'm looking at the background, and I tell Bucky, just go, go, go! Because I, I wanted to get just as high as I possibly could up the hill in order to get the dog team separated from the background. So I didn't want the dogs right at the tree line. So I, we did a pretty good job of it here. But anyway, it was one of those spectacular shots, and this photo was back in the film days, so it was even harder to deal with. The post office decided to make a postage stamp for Alaska statehood. They chose this photo to represent Alaska. So honestly, to have my photograph chosen to represent the whole state over the whole nation, that was a big deal, to say the least. Um, I was just blessed and blown away to have that opportunity. And then, as I mentioned, Rainy Pass itself is just 13 miles further up. It's just beautiful everywhere. You could take, I could take pictures there all day long, every day. I wish, sometimes I wish I did, or I just went around in circles around Rainy Pass because it's so great. This photograph was taken in 2016. Just love this shot where I'm up just a little bit higher and the dog team's snaking through this. It's just a killer location. What I really love about Rainy Pass also is the aerials. I mean, I love everything about Rainy Pass, but the opportunity for aerial photos there. Fortunately, one year, Bill Kramer took me on the trail <clears throat> in his helicopter, took the door off, and got a photograph like this of Brent Sass cruising up through Ptarmigan Flats. You, it just doesn't get any better than this for me. Love the small dog team in the big landscape. And being in a helicopter, it's shaking a bunch. So my idea there is I need the fastest shutter speed I can get. And I don't need any depth of field because I'm shooting wide angle. Everything's on infinity anyway. So if I'm wide open at f2.8 and I've got maybe a 2,500th or 5,000th of a second, I'm golden. So I just adjust my ISO to fit that and make it work. So nowadays with digital, everything's super easy because you shoot it, you can see whether it's good or not, and everything's in chronological order. Back in the day on Iditarod, I'd take literally 300 rolls of film with me, and I'd ship some back from various spots on the checkpoint. And then literally two, two and a half weeks later, I'd get back to Anchorage, and I'd have 300 rolls of film to go through one picture at a time. And so I might open a box up and there's Gnome, and then I open another box and there's Unilockly. So just trying to organize all that stuff, it took a lot of time and then had to scan it, of course. So I did a rod, it's coming up. Rainy Pass, I'm looking forward to it. I should be there Monday or Tuesday after the start of the race in a couple weeks. So I hope you follow along and look at the photos on the trail. I'll have Stuff posted on Facebook, Instagram, as well as my own website. Thanks for playing. Look forward to seeing you down the trail.